You're watching Filter Copy where we give accurate, reliable and fact-based news from the world of education. And our reportage is not based on other media stories but by talking directly to the people who actually take those decisions. I'm T.S. Sudhir. Now three major entrance examinations are scheduled for the month of August 2020. The first one of course is related to law, the CLAT 2020 which is scheduled to be held on 22nd of August about which we did a video just a while ago. The decision on whether or not to postpone the examination will be taken on Wednesday evening that is on the 5th of August. Please do see the video for those keen to know what will happen to CLAT. The second exam is the Comet K, the entrance examination to private medical, engineering and dental colleges of the state of Karnataka and that's to be held on the 19th of August. This was earlier to be held on the 1st of August and the Telangana MSET may be held in the last week of August. Those dates have not been formally announced. Now, even though the Comet K was postponed by about 18 days from 1st to 19th of August, students are now demanding a further postponement because they believe that the COVID-19 pandemic situation does not guarantee absolute safety for all those students and accompanying parents when they travel to and back from the examination centers. Close to about 70,000 students are slated to take this examination. Now, to know what is the position of the Comet K management, my colleague Pratibha Raman in Bengaluru spoke to Mr. S. Kumar, who is the executive director of Comet K. We actually wanted to do a camera interview, but Mr. Kumar said he was quite busy. So, I'll tell you exactly what he said in the course of the telephonic interview. We asked him if there will be a rethink on the Comet K examination date, because that's precisely what all of you want to know about. Mr. Kumar said that he has been conducting these examinations for the past 16 years and he agreed that this was indeed a very challenging time but he said the examination which is usually held on the second Sunday of the month of May every year has already been postponed twice from May 10th to August 1 to August 19th and therefore he did not see a further postponement from August 19th. That's position point number one. Now, Mr. Kumar's position is that the COVID pandemic may stay till the end of the year and may even spill over to 2021. So, therefore, he believes that people and students have to reconcile themselves to this reality that this virus is here to stay at least for some time in some form or the other. We next asked him the lessons learned from the Karnataka Common Entrance Test, the KCET, which was held on 30th and 31st of July across the districts of Karnataka. We did many videos on KCET. There was a sense of dissatisfaction at the way social distancing was, distancing was not maintained at many examination centers. There were some where the kind of arrangements were comparatively much better. Now, just like Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, Dr. Ashwat Narayan, who in fact complimented his team yesterday, saying that they had done a fabulous job as far as the con conduct of the KCET was concerned, Mr. Kumar also believes that the CET was conducted very well. However, he said he did not agree with a few aspects of the KCET. He pointed out that the COVID positive students were permitted to write the examination on July 30 and 31, about 60 of them wrote the examination with doctors playing the role of invigilators. Mr. Kumar asked how can the system use doctors as invigilators when the country is already grappling with a crumbling medical and health infrastructure system. He said you cannot take doctors for granted, they have umpteen things to do, quote unquote. Now will this mean the, the Next question obviously was, will this mean that any student who has tested positive for COVID-19 will not be able to take the Comet K examination on the 19th of August? Yes, that will be the case is the answer. Mr. Kumar said earlier we had mentioned, we had announced that Comet K will have dedicated examination centers for candidates who have tested positive for uh, COVID-19 and therefore they will be able to take the examinations at those uh, dedicated centers 
but now he believes that cannot be assured because to do so you will need the support of many different state governments which will prove tough at this point in time so which means to quote him those who are positive will have to stay away this year but Comet K plans to ensure thermal screening and other precautionary measures which are part of the standard operating procedure as far as the conduct of the Comet K examination is concerned. How many centers in all? 380 centers in close to 200 cities and towns across the country. And the criteria according to Mr. Kumar is that no exam center will be more than 50 km from the residence of any student. Okay, now since he mentioned the distance factor specifically, another question that was posed to him was how will students reach an examination center, especially in a state like say uh, Maharashtra, which is in a state of lockdown in many cities and towns and in a state of partial lockdown in some other parts. Mr. Kumar said Comet K has written to the Maharashtra government in particular to help in conducting this examination and Comet K is confident that it will be able to do so. His position was that now that the KCET is over, the results will be out in due course of time, students will need to take the Comet K exams also so that the path to choosing which college they want to join is pretty much clear. He believes that's the way forward as far as the student fraternity is concerned that take the examinations while ensuring that all the safeguards are put in place by the authorities who are organizing these examinations. So that is the information as far as the Comet K is concerned which many of you have been asking in the comment section. I hope this does answer many of your queries. To those of you who have been asking me this over Instagram, please do have a look at this video and I hope you will use the next what two weeks or time to focus on this examination so that you can put your best foot forward. All the best to you. Thank you very much for watching.